Yo, welcome back to Folsom Lake. Current uh, time is 5.55. I'm out here bright and early today. I need to burn some gas in my gas tanks today. Um, I'm having a little bit of a fuel issue uh, where my little multi-tank selector valve is leaking gas when I turn it. And if it's leaking gas, it can be sucking up air and that can blow your motor. So what I did is I ordered one 27 gallon gas tank and I'm gonna pull out my two main ones that I use. And I have another auxiliary one that sits underneath my bench seat, ripping that out too. Let's get some fishing going. I need to do lots of driving, so I'm gonna go kind of quick today. So let's get started, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting out with this Chapo 90 albino color. Last week I got a fish right on the back side of this uh, second bush over there. And, you know, he was just a pounder, pound and a half or whatever, but uh, he got me stuck in some trees. I looked last night and we're only seven feet below full pool right now. All right, moving on, on to the next set of trees. It's really just crazy how fast this water came up in just one week. Because so you have to take into consideration how much they're letting out. Switched it up to this five inch uh, Rage tail with a three out hook, the Matt Allen swim bait head or dirty jigs head. I don't know what head it is actually. He's trying to go for some of the bigger fish in here. Let's get on the other side of these trees. I went ahead and I switched back to the little 3.5 inch Kitek. Reason for that is I'm seeing some pretty good pretty good dots around these trees here and they're not following the five inch rage tail at all uh, I threw out a Senko I got a couple looks but no takers there's a hit right there I don't mind catching two pounders and I'll be I'll be switching off with that rage tail the five inch and my mag draft all day just missed one. Kind of feels like it got my tail. No, no, you got my whole bait. Sweet. Got a little guy. Oh, did not get a great hook set on him. Seen a couple sitting right underneath my boat. So I just dropped my, uh, I dropped my swim bait straight down. Just dragging it on the bottom, kind of popping it, letting it sit, popping it, letting it sit. That's how I had two bites. Oh, there's one right there. There's a little bite. I think he's on. Got him. A little guy. Oh boy, they don't seem to be, uh, they don't seem to be very into chasing stuff today like they've been. They just kind of want it sitting on the bottom. Every week is different, man. Maybe that's what I need to do with the, the bigger swim bait, too. Oh, man, he had the back of that thing in his... Look at how beat up his little mouth is. Thanks, bud. Whew. Man, it is still cold and windy as heck, too. You can see it's white capping out, out there a little bit now. Boy, there's a couple of fatties right in front of the boat. Where's my drop shot? Must be like brush piles or something out here. Oh, shoot. I just had a hit. Missed one. I think, oh, I didn't miss him. He was on. He's still just swimming away. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened there. Sorry, little bud. 
sit behind these trees here for a sec just to freaking warm up. Those rollers coming through the trees, man. There goes a little bite. Oh, yeah, he, he was following it too. Little sucker was about to take my tail off. Oh, dude, look at these were the ones that were following my swim bait right there. There's like four or five of them. Little keeper, I'm not gonna weigh him, he's too tiny. But I do appreciate you biting. Man, they're so warm. Little keep. Well, I don't know. 10, 11, whatever. Too little to, to weigh, that's for sure. Man, that was a rough ride over here. Oh, shoot. Had one of my first cast here. Darn it. Didn't feel real big, but it's a good sign. That might have been a tap. Yep, I think so. Yep. Not a big one. Go back and get bigger. And again, with that one there, I know these are only little, but I'm getting hits now. And I don't really think I'm getting around any big ones right now. I'm letting it sink all the way down to the bottom and then just kind of jigging it off the bottom. I have not had one hit today where I've been swimming the swim bait. It's all been either on the fall or on the bottom. I had one up under there and then on the way out, just bouncing on the bottom. I had another one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, there's one. There's one, he's a good one. He feels like a decent one. Yeah, that's a decent one. I'll let that one. Nah, he's probably barely a keeper, but for today he's decent. We'll get a weight on that one. Hey, he's just a tiny keeper. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm not weighing him. That's too little. All right, dude. Thank you for biting. See ya. I don't know where these bigger ones are going to be today, though. It's so stinking windy. Oh, there goes another bite. Ah, he got my tail, darn it. I'm starting to think uh, like a Texas rig brush hog or a Texas rig lizard in these trees might be a, a good thing to throw. I put on this Texas rig brush hog here. It's just a little watermelon red flake. And I'm gonna, gonna flip this sucker in those trees. Try to draw out some bigger fish. Just bounce this sucker around the bottom. Got one on that brush hog flipping. Not a big one. Biggest one of the day so far. Flipping a brush hog. Barely a keeper. We'll get a weight on him. I don't know. I think I've got six or five, six or seven or something to know. Nothing to weigh so far. So we're going to weigh him. He's probably like, my guess is 1.1. Yep. 1.19. Alright, bud. Thanks for eating my brush hog. Didn't even feel him tap. Just seen my line starting to go into the tree. So I set the hook. I was hoping for that big one, but... Nope. At least it was the biggest one of the day. Just not a big one. Switched it up to a chartreuse and white with a little bit of blue spinnerbait. With it being so windy, man, I had to give the spinnerbait a try. 
Oh. Oh, nice. I guess that's what a 60 pound braid and 20 pound floral will do for you. I'm just going to make one pass around these trees and then try a, a couple of rocky points behind me and then head up to some more trees on the peninsula. All right, just on this little point right here, I don't know how, but I've had two pretty good hits off the spinnerbait and they just haven't, I got a trailer hook on there. I don't like throwing trailers on there. I, la I would rather have the hook. And even with that hook, I've, even with that trailer hook, I've still missed them. I've had two good thumps. Another small keeper. Probably about the same size as that other one. Okay, 1.30. All right, thanks, buddy. I don't know what else to do. I've tried some rocky points with spinner baits. I've been throwing bigger, bigger swim baits and nothing. You can see how chewed up this thing is. I mean, they're, they're hitting it like nonstop, man. Do you switch? You try something else? I mean, they're pounding the heck out of this thing. There we go. Feels like a decent one. A little smelly. I got you, bud. I got you, bud. Not a big one. Sure, it's a pretty small one, though. One point two five seems to be a a pretty common weight for the day. Sure, it's pretty though. Thanks, bud. I got one, but my line is tangled up on my tip. Oh, there's another one with it too. All right, we're William. He's a keeper, he's a small keeper. Oh, dude, look what he threw up. He threw up some huge old scale, gross, but he also threw up this Senko. Oh, nasty. Well, you're welcome for getting that out of your stomach. Jeez. My uh, braid with this wind, it blew around the tip of my rod. So I was barely able to crank him in. All right, he weighed in at 130. So far, our best four keepers is just five pounds, four ounces. Awesome. I had more than that with two fish last week. But today has been kind of, today has been a, a little bit of a grind with all this wind, man. It's, it's calmed down a lot now. But uh, I haven't been able to fish a lot of the places I've wanted to fish. I found an underwater tree out that way. And I cast right on top of that and let it sink down 20 feet to that tree and, and got him off the top of that tree. Come on. Get away from the tree, buddy. There we go. On the general. He's a good solid two pounder. Oh, and he already came off the hook too. He looks so big compared to the 1.3s I've been catching all day. Huh. 2.11. Thank you, buddy. We'll let you go back on the side that I got you from. Appreciate you hitting. You're the one good fish I had today. That was on the Berkeley General. Threw it up there by the, uh, in between those two trees right there. And I just let it sink down 
and all of a sudden my line just went zing, took off. I am done for the day and I just need to get the gas out of my gas tank. This boat has three gas tanks in it. I'm pulling out all three and I'm replacing it with one 27 gallon tank. I know it seems a little bit small for a, you know, for most boats, but out here, you know, the most I, I burn up in a day has been like eight gallons. And that's going from one, you know, from the main body all the way down as far as I can go, all the way back and all the stops in between. So for me, 27 gallons, this boat does great on gas. Um, normally when I come out here, I really only burn about three to four gallons of gas. A lot of, last week, I only burned two. My biggest, or my total weight for the day, the best five for the day went seven pounds, 7.16. And just one more thing, I forgot to mention the baits that I caught them all on. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any idea how many I caught. Uh, the biggest was off the Berkeley General. Most of them came off the little Kitex swim bait. I got one on a brush hog, uh, a couple on a drop shot, your normal Folsom stuff. I, I missed two on a spinner bait on a rocky point when it was really uh, wavy out. I had two just slam it. And somehow I had my trailer hooks on. They just missed it. I don't know how. That's it. Current temp is 70.53, and I am out of here. Catch you guys next week.